During this climate crisis, farmers are becoming much more proactive rather than passively accepting whatever happens. Farmers are increasingly calling seasonal forecasters like Kenneth Kerr of the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service. We got a call this week given the drying that is taking place. Parliament farmers, they are very much aware that they are one of the drier areas in Trinidad and Tobago. Climatologist Kenneth Kerr now gives more weather and climate information to farmers to bridge the knowledge gap. They use our information to ensure that they can plan properly, appropriately, ahead of time. So they need to try to understand whether they should plan closer to the river to ensure that they have easy access to water rather than from water from the rivers rather than from the rain effect. Agricultural forecasts are routinely available at the appropriate scale and format for farmers who receive a lead time from two weeks to two months in advance. We have a sub-monthly product that will assist them in their planning that we issue every Friday uh, that they can look to week three and week four ahead. So it's a whole seamless approach to weather forecasting uh, from daily to sub-seasonal that will assist the farming community in Trinidad and Tobago. Climate Information Services connects to the United Nations' broader agricultural approach called Climate Smart Agriculture that advocates food security during climate change, increasing food productivity, enhancing resilience and reducing emissions. I'm Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News.